There was more trouble on the west side when an SUV smashed into a house. A local four viewer shared some video of the ugly aftermath and that witness describes the moments after she heard people yelling for help. Priya Mann was there as the cleanup got underway. Contractors have been here since about 10 Sunday morning after that SUV lost control and ended up in a man's living room. If you look at some of the video, you can see the car on the inside of the house. Around two Sunday morning, Rain Jones woke up to people yelling and calling for help. This is what she saw when she ran outside. Um, there was a lady and a man in the car. They were both laying outside of the car. Um, I can't tell whether they were deceased or not. An SUV crashed into her neighbor's living room window, narrowly missing the bedroom. So wake up to something like this and there was a man in the house that usually sits there and he wasn't sitting there. Luckily, nothing happened to him and um, he was fine. You but, went to check on him right away. Um, yes, we, we did. We went right in and checked on him and he was coming out. Miraculously, her neighbor was not hurt. From nowhere, yes. It came from nowhere in the middle of the night. A man and woman inside the SUV were rushed to the hospital. The SUV crashed into Midpoint Apartments near Six Mile and Greenfield on Detroit's west side. On Sunday morning, contractors were busy removing debris and boarding up the window. I'm very grateful that nobody was out here. Normally on a nice warm day, you know, people be out, you know, talking and, you know, listening to their radios and stuff. So I thank God that they wasn't out, you know, this particular night. On Detroit's west side, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.